Could you use the Galaxy Note 10 to replace your computer? Hey there, friends on YouTube, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. I'm, uh, you know, but it's tech so honest it hurts. But today I'm kind of chill. I'm kind of just hanging out here at the computer. I'm talking about things that I'm uh, just thinking about. I'm just thinking about them. And so Samsung released a second teaser for the Galaxy Note 10 yesterday as they get ready for the August 7th unveiling of the Note 10 at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, home of the New York Nets and uh, maybe a hockey team and stuff like that. It wasn't built when I lived there. They were just starting to build it. Anyway, anyway, they put out this teaser. So basically, let's let's walk through what happens here. You've got a smartphone where people are giving you feedback about the presentation that you're trying to put together and you're working on it on your laptop. And then once you get finished, you send it over to a USB thumb drive. And then from the thumb drive, you put it on whatever it is that you're presenting from. And then you present and then you get feedback again on your laptop. See, so this is a power. Basically, they're trying to appeal to the the on the go business person, the power user that needs to have, you know, some some kind of some kind of something or other that anyway, the power user that, you know, has to use multiple devices in order to get their job done. And they are trying to plant in our brains that the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the S10 and all those other ones as well that have DeX functionality could very well replace all those other things. And you could just use the smartphone and go from work to go from feedback to work to data to presentation and be done and get feedback again. So we've been talking about this for a long time, obviously. Most of the time it's sort of like, the, well, can the iPad replace your laptop? The answer is generally yes, but it's not the same as your laptop in any way, shape, or form. You have to do things differently on an iPad than you would on a laptop, and I guess that's okay. I mean, some people like to do those kinds of things, and some people do really cool things, but... I don't know that the business side of it has ever been really focused on is in the same way that Samsung is maybe trying to focus on it now. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments, but I don't remember seeing this kind of focus in the past. So Samsung is basically saying that because of the DeX functionality that the Note 10 will offer, you can get yourself a keyboard like this one. This is a Logitech keyboard. I forget what the model number is, but I'll put it in the description down below in case you want to check out one for yourself. Uh, you know, so you've got a touchpad. You've got a D-pad here. You've got all your keys that you want right here. You've got some multimedia keys up at the top. So that's very cool. It's, it's a very nice keyboard. Solid. The good thing about it is, the good thing, the one of the good things I would say, is that it has multiple, one, two, three. It has multiple connections that it can make. So you can connect to three different devices with this bad boy. So one of those devices could be your Galaxy Note 10 uh, via Bluetooth. And if you do that, then you'll have a keyboard that you can type on. Uh, but what do you do about a screen? So the DeX feature is going to, in the Galaxy Note 10 for the first time, at least as the rumors have foretold, the DeX feature is going to be wireless. Now I can understand, you know, you got a wireless keyboard, you got a wireless mouse, et cetera, et cetera. I don't quite understand how you get a wireless monitor. Uh, if other people out there know what how that's possible, let me know uh, because my brain is just not just not thinking of how because not too many monitors have some sort of wireless connection. Anyway, anyway, so but this is what they're talking about. And if you wanted to be mobile, you could even get yourself something like this. This is the Vinpox Split monitor. It's a USB and a micro HDMI capable screen that you know, it has. It comes with its own case. It's magnetic. It goes on like that. And then you can just plug something into it here, and you're ready to go. It is definitely doable to have something like this, to have a small keyboard like this and use your smartphone as the hub of all of this to get your work done particularly when you're when you're working with something like samsung's dex but my question is like do we want that is that desirable samsung has made this point that with the samsung galaxy note 10 you could 
cut out a lot of different devices, a lot of different steps, and just have the one thing going all the way through the process of creating a presentation and delivering that presentation. But do we want that? Are we ready for that? Is it really feasible for that to happen? I, I, I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. I could see how the future is that. But is the future now? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, when the, when the note 10 comes out and I get my hands on one, I am going to do something. I'm going to try for a week to do my work on the note 10 using the Dex feature and maybe this portable rig that I've got here, maybe, maybe something else and see if I can do what it is that I need to do, uh, what with just the smartphone, that's going to be the future. Uh, If you look at laptops, the you know the the iPads getting closer to being sort of like a MacBook. They got to solve the GPU problems. There's a there's an uncanny valley in there where computers are definitely better at doing some things, and then mobile devices could be better at doing others. But the uncanny valley of just how do you how how do those two things meet in the middle is what I'm really interested in. Is there a place where that's going to happen? Is it going to happen soon? Is Samsung just sort of being a little bit hyperbolic by showing this this graphic that we just looked at? Or is this really the future? What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below and let's have a boisterous discussion about it because I love the idea of a smartphone replacing at least your laptop computer or your tablet. I think that's pretty feasible. I don't know about a desktop just yet, but I I like that idea. However, are we close to that? I'm not sure. I mean, I guess the Samsung's had this Dex feature. I have not used it very much, but people have commented on my videos telling me how awesome it is, etc., etc. I imagine you can use the Google suite of, of apps to do your productivity work, and that would be pretty cool. And you can also play games. <laughs> If that's something that you're into. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments. What do you think? Can the Galaxy Note 10 replace your computer? Or is that time way too far off in the future to be really feasible or even even just like plausible to discuss at this moment? I want to know. Anyway, thanks so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If this was your first time here and you want to come back and hear more stuff about technology and the future and the present and the all that stuff, then you can hit the like and subscribe and bell notify yourself, dingy, dingy, dingy bell. If you've been here before, thank you ever so much for coming back again. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm very excited for the Galaxy Note 10. Very excited to see if some of the claims that Samsung is making can actually be played out. Anyway, to recap, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.